you can also declare uh, strings in in another two ways. You've got um, if you've watched the last tutorial, you've got uh, when I was talking about the difference between single strings and uh, double quoted strings. Um, you've got here doc, which is equivalent more or less to a double quoted string, and you've got now doc, which is equivalent to a single quoted string. So I'm going to declare a few variables. One of them is name. I'm going to give it my name, Luke. Um, let's declare another variable. Um, let's say class equals favorite. And then now for the now here doc itself. So we're going to say here doc equals. Now this is the important bit. You start off by giving three less than signs. And immediately after that, you create a, you basically name that whatever you want. And then you make sure you go to the very left, the very first character on that line to then close it like so. Not saying that that's wrong, but you can tell it's right there. Now, why would you use this sort of syntax? Well, let me show you. Let me open up this page here. I'm going to go inspect element open that and we're going to say edit as HTML if it wants to listen and it's going to go control A control C now we're going to go back into here oops I'm going to do that I'm just going to give it a little bit of formatting quickly head style yeah yeah whatever Body, close the body tags, close the HTML tags. Now, generally, people like to left left flush um, their hair doc, so that's what I'm going to do. You know, it's, it's always nice to follow convention. Head, um, no, I can't be bothered. It's a waste of time. Um, but now what we can do is something like this when you built your HTML page um, you have basically pre-processed your page what you can then say is class equals class and um, favorite and okay let's say name it's gonna put name here it's gonna say that and then do an echo Um, echo and print, uh, as far as I know, do exactly the same thing. I just prefer echo. Print, I don't know, it's not really liking to it. Okay, now if we inspect element here, you can see it's got our class and it's got our, and obviously you can see that there is a Luke. Now, this is very useful, obviously. Um, like I was saying, if you built your whole page, and you rendered it and you're basically certain bits of your page are can be then uh, kept as variables which you just then put in place whenever you need them now doc as I said earlier is um, basically a single quoted string you see immediately you can see that I no longer have uh, the black letters here which would have uh, red letters rather which would um, identify this as being a uh, a variable so now when we go back to chrome and you do a refresh have I saved oh yeah name yes we have saved I've got a little bit confused there you can see that we have if you see on our class it's dollar class if you see the name it's dollar name meaning that this these two variables haven't been passed in now this is um really intriguing i should have put this in the other tutorial this is actually now I'll, I'll leave that for another tutorial but that's basically the difference between a here doc syntax and a now doc syntax i'm not too sure why one would use a now doc it they uh, haven't really thought of a good enough reason here doc makes sense um now doc i'm not too sure you know if you think of a reason why just leave a comment and then I will see what it whether it's useful or not. But um yeah, I think that concludes this part of the tutorial.